American Airlines Center here in Dallas, Texas. Site of Game 4 of the Western Conference Finals with Golden State leading three games to none. We welcome you to TNT NBA Tip-Off presented by CarMax. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barkley. We've got um, an hour show here. We've got plenty of time to talk basketball, but uh, that is not where we begin after uh, yet another tragedy today. And this one about uh, 350, 400 miles south of here in Texas. Look, if you had Googled yesterday uh, Uvalde, Texas, you would find out it's sometimes called the City of Trees. You'd find out it's about 85 miles west of San Antonio. You'd find out that Matthew McConaughey was born there. When you Google it today, you are seeing again the soul-crushing news of a mass shooting. Today at an elementary school there, an 18-year-old walked in and killed 14 school kids and a teacher. The NBA has released a statement. The NBA family devastated by the horrific shooting that took place today in Uvalde, Texas. Our thoughts and heartfelt condolences go out to the victim's family and friends and the entire Rob Elementary School and Uvalde community. A short time ago, Steve Kerr had his media availability. Listen. I'm not going to talk about basketball. Nothing's uh, happened with our team in the last six hours. We're going to start the same way tonight. Um, any basketball questions uh, don't matter. Um, since we left shoot around, 14 children were killed 400 miles from here. And a, and a teacher. And in the last 10 days, we've had elderly black people killed in a supermarket. In Buffalo, we've had Asian churchgoers killed in Southern California, and now we have children murdered at school. When are we going to do something? I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on H.R. 8, which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it, to hold on to power. So I ask you, Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings, I ask you, are you going to put your own desire for power ahead of the lives of our children and our elderly and our churchgoers? Because that's what it looks like. It's what we do every week. So I'm fed up. I've had enough. We're going to play the game tonight, but I want every person here, every person listening to this to think about your own child or grandchild or mother or father or sister, brother. How would you feel if this happened to you today? We can't get numb to this. We can't sit here and just read about it and go, well, let's have a moment of silence. Yeah, go Dubs, you know, come on Mavs, let's go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go play a basketball game. And, the, and 50 senators in Washington are going to hold us hostage. Do you realize that 90 percent of Americans, regardless of political party, want background check, universal background check? 90 percent of us, we are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote, despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. The uh, New York Times now are reporting that 18 school children were killed and a teacher today in uh, Uvalde, Texas. Uvalde is not far from a place where you grew up, San Antonio. Shaquille? Used to visit there a lot. Played them in high school. They were in our same district. Uh, Steve's correct. You know, when, when enough is enough. Places where me and Kenny come from. Kenny's from Left Rock. I'm from the Brick City, North New Jersey. People get killed every day. Kids get killed every day. 
and something has to be done. I understand you talk about background, background checks, but it's a lot that needs to be done because, you know, once you do a background check, let's not forget about the underground market. Because, again, places where, and then even Charles, places where me and Kenny are from, anybody can get a weapon. Am I right about that, Kenny? Anybody can get a weapon anytime. And I'm not talking to Ernie, go in the store, show your ID. You know, in the hood, anybody can get a weapon. So, look, it, this is sad. Uh, my condolences goes out. As a parent, I don't know how I would react if, if I got that call. Used to be rules. Used to be used to be codes, like, you know, kids and, and mothers and stuff like that used to be off limits. So how you how you do stuff like this? And then I heard the kid uh, did something to his grandmother before he went to school. It's just it, it, it shot his grandmother before yeah, he opened so, fire in the school. Look, it is a sad day. It goes on every day. Again, people in where I come from in Newark, New Jersey, get killed every day in Chicago. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff that shouldn't be happening. Steve mentioned Buffalo. It's just sad, and, you know, we, we all have to, have to do something. But we have to check all avenues. Don't, don't just talk about certain things and, and not forget the other things. Well, you know, firstly, Steve is 100% correct. Uh, and for those who don't know, research Steve Kerr in the background where he comes from and why he feels so differently about certain things when you talk about social justice, you talk about uh, African-American justice, you talk about guns and violence. A father who was assassinated. A father who was assassinated. You know, do your research on Steve Kerr first. That man is a trooper. Always admired him, played with him in the World Games, was my roommate in the World Games, one of my favorite people in the world, firstly. Secondly, the demonic mind is illogical. So you can't put logic to how that happened. There is no logic to demonic. So there is no, oh, he wasn't in the right mind. He was demonic. Let's start there. That's a demonic act uh, to walk into an elementary school and do the things that he's done. And, you know, so I, we just got to pray for the families. Uh, and, and we have to understand where this country is right now in terms of mental health, physical health, and as he, Steve said, the, abil the availability to get armed um, weapons. Been a rough couple weeks, man. It has, Joe. It's been a rough couple weeks. That thing in, Bu in Buffalo shook uh, everybody up. This thing today shook us up. And what's heartbreaking to me in both instances what is making young kids do this stuff? That's what's scared. These last two attacks were carried out by young kids. What is happening in your life at 17, 18 years old that makes you so angry that you react like this? Uh, you know, we sh it should be hard to get guns. It's way too easy to get guns. The ghost gun thing is a big issue in this country. And our politicians, they are the worst example we can follow. This notion that every single thing that happens in the world, we have to vote among party lines, no matter what the subject is, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'm going to go with my team, instead of representing the people. You're supposed to represent all the people. Even if you win an election, that don't mean you try to screw the other people who didn't vote for you. You're supposed to work for everybody. But this stuff, man, I never want to get numb to it because... You got grandkids, I got grandkids, you got young kids, you got young kids. You send them to school, you think like, never you, you never used to think when you send your kids to school something bad was gonna happen. But you go back to Sandy Hook, and now it's happening years later, man. It's just really heartbreaking. And my thoughts are with all those parents out there and grandparents because, man, you send your kids to school, they're supposed to be safe. Uh, Chuck, you're absolutely right. And look, I, my wife and I raised six kids and sent them to school and and there Your was daughter's a teacher and there was never a there was never an incident there was yeah. never anything like that and it was they were growing up and now yeah i have four grandkids i have a daughter who's a high school teacher yeah. and i and it scares the devil out of me yeah. it just it, because it used I can't, to be. i can't i can't look at it, it again i can't it, it, i can't see another it, cnn report uh, that says this has happened and you think about 14 or 16 18 
but school but, kids at but, elementary school. But you think about it too, Ernie. Sometimes it used to be like, well, they got called in the wrong place at the wrong time. School is never the wrong place, mm. and especially when, with young kids. And and Kenny, Kenny always says that's why prison is full of idiots. So they think they're not gonna get called, and they got a delusional mind. You, we can't even try to make sense about Buffalo or what happened today because there's nothing anybody can say to you say I understood why he did it because it's inexcusable and it's just it's just a sad day for our country it's just evil just evil um, our hearts go out to all those in Uvalde Texas LeBron James simply has to be changed has to be praying to the heavens above to all with kids these days in schools Jason Tatum breaks my heart hearing this news no parent should ever have to lose their child praying for the families of those kids and their teacher it's devastating and Chris Paul absolutely tragic we have to do better as a country family sending prayers to the families affected today at Rob Elementary we will be back